Hi there guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you that are return viewers, I appreciate your continued patronage and I'm so grateful for your support. I'm gonna go ahead and film a weekly plan with me. There are some planner challenges going on in a couple of the groups that I'm in. And I got these absolutely adorable stickers in a monthly mailer from Cute Cut Craft that I cannot wait to share with you guys. And I just decided tonight to opt for showing you the goodies and actually jumping right into a plan with me with them. So this is the monthly mailer from Cute Cut Craft for September. Since it's from Canada, shop out of Canada, the, the mailing takes a little longer. They mail out, I believe it's on the 15th of every month. And you guys, it's the no mailer. <laughs> and this is such a cute combo. I love how the gnomes are layered with the date dots. And some little gnome plaid gnomies paired up in all the fun colors. We've got some that say weekend. I'm loving the addition of the quotes, the boxes. Uh, the date dots to kind of make the whole theme cohesive and it allows more use of the gnomes. So I'm really excited about this. And we've got sheets in a quarter size of all the different colored gnomes individually. So some little small gnomes and then some little bit larger, not the same as the extra large gnomes. A rainbow foil, um, functional set of stickers some like little mini washi strip we've got some boxes some quarter boxes some checklists Megan went all out and I also got this hollow things <laughs> how cute are these gnomes paired together I love it I love it okay so the spread that I want to work on is a plaid spread and it it paired perfectly with these guys these plaid gnomes so one challenge is a plaid challenge and the other one that I'm hoping this will fit for is a big word challenge. It is, we literally just hit like the first full week of fall or getting ready to hit the first full week of fall. So it's like going to be the end of September, beginning of October. And I have these lovely big like Mambi stick stickers from Happy Planner that I've not yet used. I purchased them, I was super excited about them, and I have not yet used them. So, I thought, why not? Why not just come in for the first week of, first full week of fall? And I think I might just use the letters for fall, F-A-L-L. -L. I'm not certain what I'm gonna do yet, though. Like, what? <laughs> I know fall. <laughs> That's kinda, I could do F-A-L-L -L down the side here. These are pretty big though. Like I would almost like to have color behind them. And I don't think I have any plaid washi. I have lots of grid and other stuff, but I don't think I have any plaid. So I'm not certain. I'm not certain what I'm gonna do yet. But I do know I want to use plaid and I want to try to do large letters. So Let's just dive in. The first thing I'm going to do is put down this weekend sticker. Over the weekend. And I think I'm going to do it at the bottom of that section. And then I'm going to get my Muji pen and just white out that little corner. Make it hide. Make it hide. There. All right. Huh. These guys are so cute. And I love that there's boxes and checklists and washi now. I'm very excited about this. And then these date dots too. I mean, come on you guys. And quotes. I have to take a deep breath and calm myself down. I don't think I want to pull in grid washi. And I know I don't have any plaid. 
I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to buy some ply washi at some point. So do I want to start with I'm going to start with a red Nomi over here. And then I'm going to do... I reckon I could probably make my own plaid, but I am still working on my my drawing skills. <laughs> I'm still I'm still fine tuning my drawing skills. I've only got a couple more weeks before, oh, that's crooked. I've only got a couple more weeks before I go to my retreat. And the weekend before that, we're doing our haunted house fun stuff out of town. So I only have like one full weekend at home bef before the retreat. And you guys, I literally spent a weekend just being a slacker, seriously. I slacked all weekend and I did not accomplish much of anything. I was really tired. I got, so I got a flu shot and a COVID booster shot on Friday. And I don't know, it, it made me really tired. My husband thinks it's because I stayed up too late the nights before, but I think it was getting double immunizations or shots. I think that's what did it. But the hubs does not believe that, so I don't know. I, I know I was just really tired over the weekend, and I did not do Jack Diddley. <laughs> did Jack Diddley. Jack Diddley squat. I just lit. Oh, let's see. I tore that. I didn't mean to just laid around. I was super tired. <sighs> but I did do some relaxing. Got some TV time with the hubby. I did go for a walk. I I went for a walk with my friend. That was really nice. I've been trying to be more active. Sometimes I just feel like my life gets a little out of control. And it's because I feel like I, I kind of like overbook myself. I have a habit of that. What fun activities do you guys have planned in October? Or I sh maybe I shouldn't just say October, but like for the fall season. Do you guys have any like traditions or activities that you look forward to all year long? For me, it is haunted houses every year. I look forward to our... Our haunted house activity we go with our our blended family and we uh, go check out a haunted house somewhere and I feel like we always have the best of times it's always so much fun I'm just scattering boxes and um, I'm trying to base it off of what I know is going on for the week like my regular standing appointments and then adding in some additional boxes and just leaving some space for add-on things. 
This is kind of my catch-all planner, so I kind of put all the things in here. And Hocus Pocus 2 hits Disney on Friday night. That's definitely going to be something that we are planning to take in. I think we're going to watch the first one and the second one. We're going to do like a little movie marathon. And this girl is pumped. I really I want to work in that word fall over here. I don't know though. I'm kind of thinking how I can do this not played with these big letters before and I don't know how they're gonna look over here so let's just play I'm not gonna white out any lines or anything but I think I can stagger my my gnome friends I need to balance out the colors I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. Um, so let's do a pattern, this guy. Um, well, if I interrupted myself and I don't remember what I was talking about now. Imagine that. No shocker there. We're just going to give this a go and see how it looks. Super florally or light floral? I kind of want to do the light floral. Stick with the not super heavy floral theme. Oh, that's kind of crooked. Might need to turn this sideways so I can get it laid down evenly. I could probably do scrapbook paper or something behind this, but to be honest, I need a, mo a more quick spread this evening because I'm still tired. I'm still tired and I really just want to kind of go to bed and it's early for me, like super early, like way super early. <laughs> I am not a early to bed kind of girl. I tend to stay up fairly late and my husband goes to bed early, but that's because he gets up really early in the morning too. Like he's an, a super early riser for work. Maybe I'm fighting a sinus infection or something too. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do this guy in his jam jams. <laughs> He looks like he's in jammies. I could do the other L here, or I could put this over here, and I think I'm going to have to, just to kind of keep with the pattern we started already. And I can do my little Muji pen to kind of white out the black lines, too. So the other L, let's do a different one, because I don't want them to be exactly the same. you guys ever have times where you want your spreads to be more fancy but you're just tired and you know that you just don't have the energy so you just go simple sometimes it's just like that and it's I mean it's like it's okay you got to give yourself permission got to give yourself permission like your planner is for you and as long as it works for you that's the important thing yeah, I probably should have white it out underneath all that stuff. Huh? It's okay. I'll just kind of white out around where I can. Fall. Huh? I like it. I used a big word. I used a big word and I like it. Okay. I think we should definitely pull in another quote. I'm glad that it's 
like we're moving into fall the temperatures here are cooling off some like it's almost where I could warm up a, a glass of apple cider and sit out by the fire pit and enjoy it in the evening and I'm really excited about that I love I love warm apple cider during the fall and I really enjoy sitting out by the fire fire pit in the fall too I think I'm gonna stagger that like over those two. And maybe one more quote over here. Towards the bottom of the page. Kind of kind of keep that balance thing going. Cause I like to kind of keep a semblance of balance. Megan, if you are watching this. I'm really enjoying having a more of an assortment to like be able to create a cohesive spread with like some quotes and boxes and then just like deco gnomes. Fantastic job on this kit or not kit, but yeah, monthly mailer. Fantastic job. So let's just drop this down here. Yes. And let's bring in some more gnomes, shall we? I don't want to put another purple one here, so maybe a turquoise. Let's do this guy with the turquoise and the green in him. Should I put him up here or down here? I feel like he would go really good, like right here. Kind of curled up into the middle of that. It's just a gnome laden spread. any of the purple and black together. So I'm gonna put him right here. And I could put these guys down here. I could just drop a few up here for lists. For some list keeping. Let's do that. Not like huge lists. Maybe I could drop some gratitude on that. That would be okay. Drop some gratitude. Let's put you right here. Um, and then we'll do this guy. We'll do him up here. I'm going to slide it over to this side a little bit so it's not running into my Saturday. Yeah, buddy. And then uh -huh, these guys. Let's get these guys back out and let's... I love these guys together. They're so cute. I could do a big one. I like a match set up here at the top. I'd have to cover it up with something that I feel like. Mm -mm. Nope. No, I kind of want to put that there, but I kind of want to save it too. So I'll save it. I'm not certain what to do.
Let's put this guy. No. No. There. That's a little bit better. And it's getting full over here. But I'm trying to balance, look, the number of boxes, you see. trying to keep it balanced but I'm running out of room but I don't write a lot in here either since it's my catch-all I don't want to line those right up next to each other so let's do it right here this spread's going to be full of boxes <laughs> it's going to be a box full spread Okay, so two more boxes. Maybe I'll save those. And let's scatter some more Nomi's. there. I think that is it for this spread. I think I'm going to call it quits. My big word fall, my plaid, all the plaid. I don't think I need any more of those boxes. I got one of each color on there. I think that's good. And if I need to add more throughout the week, then I can. Okay. So I'm going to stop myself. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys, for this short and sweet weekly plan with me. Um, all the gnomes, all the plaid, and the big words. Short, sweet, and simple this week. I appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out with me and uh, thank you. Thank you for all your support. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel and you continually are watching my content, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? It's a great way to support me that it doesn't cost a thing. Ciao for now and I'll see you guys in the next one.